This is Twit. China puts chips in micro server or super micro servers. Um, what's going on with this? I mean, this is uh, I, I mean, essentially what Bloomberg saying is that that China um, reached into the servers of like 30 U.S. companies, uh, stuff at Amazon, at, at Apple. Um, oh, man, I just I sorry. <laughs> this is big. Um <laughs> Yeah, and it's worth, it's worth noting right off the bat that uh, uh, Amazon has denied it, like mm -hmm. pretty strongly that 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 they had any awareness of of this going on. And obviously, all the sources for the story are uh, anonymous government agency representatives or anonymous Apple executives or anonymous Amazon executives. But the the general synopsis of this is that. Supermicro, which is one of, if not the largest provider of server OEM technologies and capabilities to companies mm -hmm. around the globe, uh, was either responsible or allowed the Chinese government to place a tiny, tiny, tiny microchip on board designs. And mm -hmm. um, this chip was apparently even small enough in some cases that it would fit in between PCB layers. So in terms of like even Whoa. physically discovering it was was pretty much impossible. And that this chip uh, sat between the firmware and the processor for the post sequence and basically allowed it to insert code where it wanted to. And it could alter the operating system in a way that it would allow uh, access to... Uh, other other computers and and compromise the networks and a whole bunch of stuff and a lot of this is the the amount of logic you can put on a chip this small was is obviously minimal and so it really just kind of was a was a door opening for access to uh, other things that way and this this story actually kind of goes back into like 2014 through 2015 through 2016 you remember elemental a company mm -hmm. that um does video processing gear they were apparently you know, compromised by this because they were buying their servers from Supermicro and rebranding them and Amazon bought Elemental and uh, apparently Amazon discovered this issue or some portion of this issue when they did their security uh, analysis of the company before they bought it. Um, there's other, you know, potentially problematic things in that Elemental as a company who was making the most advanced video processing technology was selling into the DOD. They were selling into uh, all aspects of military and government institutions. Because you, as you would imagine, I don't think they said this in the story, but I, if you imagine uh, in, in an environment, a situation where you want really highly compressed, very fast video, it might be from like, say, a drone feed. Um, Maybe. If you're... If you're if you're flying one of those around, so there are a lot of implications here. Apple is is implicated in this. Not that they did anything wrong, but that they were they had at one point seven or eight thousand super micro servers running in their data centers. Um, the accusation in the story from Bloomberg is that Apple discovered or they that basically the government went to all these companies, about thirty of them, that had mm -hmm. been they had traced back to being using to to using these servers. They've been compromised, and then these they did it all very quietly because they didn't want to, you know, let uh, the people on the other side know that they had figured out what was going on. And uh, Apple slowly removed uh, super all of the super microservice from its data center and replaced it. But when it did it, it you know it blamed it all on like uh, pricing issues or contract negotiations or what have you. So. <laughs> It's a fairly, it's a really good story to read. It is, uh, as someone who is currently watching the TV show Homeland, um, it's it's <laughs> seems very familiar, right? The kind of the CIA right. spy era synopsis of it. Um, but it's, it's. I, I think what I found most interesting about it is there are, I think there are 17 or 18 sources that Bloomberg has in this, all of them anonymous, of course, but 17 yeah. or 18 sources um, that talk about, yes, this happened at Apple. Yes, this happened at Amazon. The government had these meetings in Virginia where they, they brought these companies in. Uh, they were able, the reason they, they the, how they found all the companies that were compromised was that they found a system that had this. They figured out what machine it was home, uh, uh, calling home back to. It compromised that machine and figured out where all the signals it was getting were from. And that's where they, they kind of 
backtrack their way into these into these 30 companies. But Amazon is, you know, posted their CIO chief. I think it was their CIO uh, put out mm-hmm. a, a post today on their website about no, nothing from AWS has ever been affected by this. We've never been contacted by the government. We've uh, never found any trace of compromised hardware. Everything that they're saying is a fabrication, et cetera, et cetera. So I think the drama around the story might be more interesting in the long term, um, you know, except for the fact that that maybe all these networks have been compromised and secrets have been stolen and governments and and whatnot so that's uh that's been the whole day here how about you (laughs) yeah that's not exciting at all um (laughs) i (sighs) I the story does a good job of going into things about like how a a a well-done hardware level implant is significantly more damaging than uh, any software, you know, implementation yeah. of a, of a hack, right? And it, it, you know, they go into as much detail as you can in, in a Bloomberg story, um, but there's 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 a lot of information in here, so it's worth checking it's, out. Yeah, I mean, it's it's some of the stuff you look at. Um, you know, means I, I I I am friends with a number of hackers and pen testers and security professionals, and you know, we we shoot tech thing in the Hack Five Studio. Um, you know, and it's amazing to realize, you know, just giving a window into a piece of hardware onto a network or or it's just um, frightening to comprehend what could be done with that. That's all I'm going to say. 